What if I told you that astronomers have discovered a galaxy that emits no visible light? And that this discovery could help solve one of the biggest mysteries in extragalactic astronomy? This mysterious dark galaxy is composed mostly of dark matter. And its properties challenge our understanding of extragalactic astronomy. But how did astronomers find it, and why is it so important? Keep watching to find out. Astronomers have discovered a mysterious dark galaxy that emits no visible light. Apart from a small fraction of stars, more than 90% of it is composed of dark matter. The discovery of this dark galaxy could solve one of the biggest astronomical mysteries, the missing satellite problem. But the intriguing question is, if it emits no visible light, then how did astronomers find it in the first place? How did they even conclude it's a galaxy millions of light years away? Let's dive into the details and find out. The missing satellite problem, also known as the dwarf galaxy problem, is one of the most important puzzles in extragalactic astronomy. It's a discrepancy between the observed dwarf galaxies and the number predicted by cosmological simulations and the LCDM model. Many dwarf galaxies have been discovered over the years, bridging the gap between the observed and the predicted number. But there's another problem with detecting a peculiar class of dwarf galaxies called the ultra-faint dwarf galaxies or the UFDs. They contain only a few hundred to a few thousand stars, making them some of the faintest galaxies known in the universe. Their structures are mostly dominated by dark matter. Astronomers are interested in them because they contain valuable information about the early universe. All the UFDs discovered so far are very old galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The reason why the missing satellite problem still exists could be dark galaxies, the primary focus of this study. A typical galaxy contains gas, dust, star clusters, a dark matter halo, and a supermassive black hole at the center. But dark galaxies, conversely, are objects that contain almost no visible stars and are dominated by dark matter alone. They are dark matter halos that have failed to ignite star formation so far. Their discovery could explain why ultra-faint galaxies are so scarce, providing a complete solution to the missing satellite problem. So far, they were hypothetical. But now, astronomers have found the first dark galaxy in nature. Now here comes the most exciting part. The reason why astronomers could detect this dark galaxy is because dark galaxies are predicted to contain detectable amounts of neutral hydrogen gas, specifically emitting the 21 centimeters line. It's a spectral line produced when an electron in a hydrogen atom flips to configure its spin antiparallel to that of the proton. This spin flip produces a spectral line having a wavelength of 21 centimeters in the radio region of the M spectrum. The discovery was made using the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, or the FAST telescope. They found a candidate and named it according to its celestial coordinates. The distance to this high cloud is 28 megaparsecs or 94 million light-years, corresponding to a redshift of 0.0083. To understand this discovery, we just need to answer two questions. The first is that if dark galaxies do not emit visible light, how did astronomers discover it? The second question is how did astronomers conclude it was a galaxy? The answer to the first question is that dark galaxies are predicted to contain detectable amounts of neutral hydrogen gas. The answer to the second question is morphology, or simply the study of the shape and structure of the high cloud. Astronomers found three critical clues that showed it's indeed a galaxy. The first is the distribution of neutral hydrogen gas in and around the cloud, as revealed by the study of column density maps. It indicated that the structure of the cloud was very compact. The second clue was the double peak in the global high or the atomic hydrogen profile. It's a plot of the measure of the intensity of the 21 cm emission line or the flux of neutral hydrogen as a function of the velocity of the motions of the gas along the line of sight. If there's a double peak in this graph, it means there's a disk-like structure. That's because it indicates the gas clouds are rotating around the galaxy's center. So the two peaks correspond to the approaching and receding sides of the disk. The final clue came from the position velocity diagram of the high cloud. It showed an S structure. The position velocity diagram tracks each position according to its velocity. The two ends of the S shape represent the ends of the spiral arm of a disked galaxy. And the central dark regions correspond to the double peaks in the global H1 profile or the regions of the disk. So these three points enabled the astronomers to conclude that it's indeed a disk galaxy and not just an high cloud. But the very definition of an ideal dark galaxy requires it to be isolated. 
so the last thing astronomers needed to confirm was that it's a lonely galaxy. For that, they studied the images of the galaxy and its surroundings in different wavelength bands. They included optical, near-infrared, near-ultraviolet, and mid-infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. The figure clearly shows there's no optical counterpart of the dark galaxy. Then, the near-infrared and near-ultraviolet images displayed no signs of any star formation or galactic neighbor that could be visible in these two bands. And lastly, the radio emissions from this galaxy only correspond to the 21 cm line or neutral hydrogen. This confirmed that it was a lonely dark galaxy, the first ever found. The astronomers compared it with other galaxies having a close resemblance to it. They first applied the baryonic tully fissure or the BTF relation. It's a graph between the baryonic mass of the galaxy to its rotation velocity. The resulting graph showed that the newly discovered galaxy is a typical disk galaxy. But another graph showed it's an oddball. When they analyzed the relation between the high mass to light ratio and the B-band magnitude, they found it stands out compared to low surface brightness galaxies in black, and almost dark galaxies in green. They concluded it's one of the darkest gas-rich galaxies ever discovered. The dark galaxy discovered by FAST has a baryonic mass of 100 million solar masses and a dynamic mass of 5.1 billion solar masses. Baryonic mass corresponds to stars and gas inside the galaxy. The ratio of these two numbers indicates there's plenty of dark matter inside this galaxy. Furthermore, its properties suggest it could be in the early stages of galaxy formation as it lacks any stars. Hence, we may have actually found a baby galaxy still in its cradle. Discovering such dark galaxies will enable us to understand galactic evolution better. And finally, it may help us answer why ultra-faint dwarf galaxies are so rare. So there you have it, folks. The discovery of the first dark galaxy is a significant milestone in the field of astronomy. The fact that astronomers can detect galaxies without relying on visible light opens up a whole new avenue of research. This discovery may help us solve one of the biggest mysteries in extragalactic astronomy, the missing satellite problem. But for that, we need your help. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. If you have any questions or comments about the topic we discussed, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, stay curious about space.